What's going on guys, Big in here, and in the background today we have Division 1 gameplay and not only is it Division 1 gameplay, but this is a title game, we're going for it. Alright, we want to get out to an early start. The last thing you want to do is give up a goal and then have to play against the trap. That would be terrible. Not saying this guy played the trap because he actually does not, which is great. Thank you, opponent. Thank you so much. Alright, let's work this in. We got this, we get a lucky one there, there it is. Burray talks it. Oh my gosh, we're going on one nothing. Not within that one minute. We've had those rage quitters. Burray in this game is legit. He's fast. He is so fast. He's creating opportunities that no other skater can create out there. But if you can touch him, if you can lay a finger on him, he's down. He's losing that puck. So that is a factor. He's no Eric Lindros out there. I don't care what his strength stat says because it's actually pretty decent, surprisingly. It must be purely based off size because that's all it is. As soon as he gets touched, he's down. Eric Lindros, I don't even know what the strength stat is, but he just bounces off the checks. It's great. It's great. Anyway, let's see what we can do on this power play. He took a trip. Throw it down low across. Boom. That's all you do. That's all you do, big. Every single video, every single time I show gameplay, that's all you do. You scored four. One timer goal. You scored four. Slap shot goal. Like, whatever it is, you're the slapper. Anyways, so that one T. What am I supposed to do there? You want me to alley oop it in the net? You want me to? Uh, just do a little lob pass in the net and see if that goes in <laughs> like if I didn't take that one T right there I'd be an idiot let that clapper go tap it in oh my gosh that was beautiful that was beautiful right there you know what else was beautiful Thomas Vanek scoring two goals that was great that was great all right I gotta apologize to Thomas Vanek because you guys know I always say this guy didn't even try he didn't even look like he tries out there you know there's talent this guy's not even trying <laughs> get high stick if you're not gonna forecheck you're gonna take those penalties I'm gonna do it every single time I make no apologies for it so don't give me these comments oh my god I played against bacon and all he did was turn around in the neutral zone and I would take a penalty <laughs> then forecheck that's all you got to do anyway so Thomas Van it gets two goals I gotta apologize to him because I know the talents there he seems to have that scoring touch the guy gets the puck he only had what he have three or four shots and he buries two of them I'd like I mean if he could just bury it there, we'll get him the puck. We can get him the puck. That's fine. He's a right-handed shot. He's going to get some power play time. I know that for sure. At least Blashill has said that. And he could be a good fit. And I know Franz Nielsen's going to be a good fit. He looks good out there. Franz Nielsen? This is a guy I didn't really know much about. Like, I knew about Vanek. You know the talents there. It didn't seem like he skated real hard. But Franz Nielsen just kind of flies under the radar. This guy's underrated. He looks good. Defensively responsible. You've seen him back checking. He, he wasn't, uh, he was never out of position it didn't seem like and the offensive I mean he was creating stuff out there playing with Zetterberg which is good Zetterberg's getting older by the day tap that in good good <laughs> look at this game running away with it we're running away with this division one title game anyway it looked like the Red Wings were gonna run away with that game against Tampa Bay the other night until the second period Oh my god did that game ever change did the game ever change I will admit it in the playoffs last year, Tampa Bay was the far better team. It, they, they just were. They just outplayed us. And I say us. Look at that. Sni what a snipe. That guy dangled and sniped it. Pure 100% snipe. Just like Danny DeKaiser's goal. If you watch the game. Off the stanchion and in. Beautiful. Beautiful. So last year in the playoffs, I they did. They outplayed the Red Wings. And I say we because I'm on the team. And they outplayed us. So just what happened? As soon as the second period hit. They just dominated Jonathan Drew and what a snipe. They had a couple snipes on Mrazek and Mrazek played good. If Mrazek wasn't in net, they would have won by eight. Like that's how bad it was getting. The chances we were giving up were not pretty. The game turned around real quick. And then it was a 3-3 game though. Here's the thing. They had the pressure on, but it was still a 3-3 game. Bam. <laughs> That was awesome. It was a 3-3 game, and we take a bench minor. We take a too many men on the ice. A too many men on You're in the NHL. You can't be having too many men on the ice. They say it's a bad coaching. But do you really think he's like, all right, you five guys, pat you on the top of the helmet. Where you goes. These guys know. They know when they're going out anyway. So I don't know if I fully blame the coach. I don't know if you blame. That's bad coaching. I don't know. Like, do we say that? Is, can we fully blame the coach on that? I don't know. Anyway, you guys, you guys let me know what you guys think on that one. So we take a too many bad penalty. And of course they score. They score right away, right? And then it's 4-3. So I'm like, all right, that's fine. Erickson gets in a scrap, which is great. We get him off the ice. He's a little bit slow, right? Bit of a teal. So Erickson's gone, and that's fine. 
And then all of a sudden, we take another, we take another too many men penalty. Like that's terrible. Just like that goal I just gave up, the defense I've just played there, that was terrible. We took two too many men penalties and right away they score again. All of a sudden it's 5-3. <laughs> so bad. Get rocked. Oh my gosh. I couldn't believe it. For the first game, I mean the first period made me very optimistic. I'm like, look at this squad. And then the game completely turned around and they weren't looking so good. But anyways, I like the new pickup, Franz Nielsen. Steve Ott did nothing. But Thomas Vanek, Thomas Vanek, ladies and gentlemen, Thomas Vanek. Am I a fan? Am I a fan of Vanek? Anyways, Division One title, we got it. That's our 10th of the year. <laughs> See you guys soon.